Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today, you guys, it's time for us to get it all the way together. <laughs> if you've been here for a minute, then you know that I went through some of my buffer and spent some of my cash envelopes um, when I was just pulling money from wherever I could find it so that I could deal with some issues I had last week. And so, yeah, today we're going to organize everything back as it should be and get it all the way together. And if that's something that you're interested in seeing, because I've never done this before, but we're going to make it happen, then let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so before we get started trying to put pieces of puzzles back together, let's go ahead and work on the We Are The Stars Challenge. So let me first get my computer and we'll get started with that. All right, you guys, so I got it all set up. And the first thing we're going to do is look at the comments from the last video, because if you aren't aware, I do have a challenge called We Are The Stars. It looks like this. There's this color, pink, and I think purple. There's a PDF link down in the description box, which you can print. And this is a two-part challenge. So the first part is if you print the challenge out, you would choose a multiplier and come back every video for 12 videos worth. I think we only have two more to go after today. Um, and you would look to see how many comments are on the video at that time and multiply it by your multiplier and save that amount of money for the savings challenge. And we're doing that as a group. So there are some people that have their multiplier set at one penny, mine is set at 10 cents, which y'all know. That little money is adding up fast. Okay, so... <laughs> You can set it at five cents, a quarter if you're daring, and a dollar if you just could knock it out the park. But we actually look at the comments each video and determine how much we should be saving, okay? The second part of the We Are The Challenge is I am doing a $10 gift card giveaway, and the only thing you need to do to enter for each video is to comment on the video before. So for instance, if you commented on this video today, then and you do that by the time I release the next video, then the next video I'll be pulling a random comment and you have a chance of winning a $10 gift card. Once we designate all 12 winners of this challenge, I will be pulling one of those 12 winners to win a grand prize of a $50 gift card. So yeah, come back, comment, and save some money while you're here. So let's go ahead and see how many comments we had this time from the last video, okay? All right, you guys, I tried to hurry up and get another video out. <laughs> I was like, they're not about to get me. Okay, so... <laughs> So on the last video, it was a budget with me. It was my second week's pay period and it had 418 comments. Thank you guys so much. Uh, so that means I really need to save $42. I'll be taking that out of the buffer. So you'll see, I kind of have a plan of how we're going to make all this work today um, without an actual plan. Okay. So $42 is what we're going to be saving for this. We are the stars challenge. And for right now, let's go ahead and pick the winner. We're going to go over here to TubeBuddy and pick a winner. Since you don't have to have any specific comment, just choose a comment. We'll go ahead and go here and click pick a winner. Let's see who's going to win the $10 gift card. All right, it's going to be Julie Frank. She said, yay, so happy to hear Mama Salisa is home. Thank you so much, Julie. You guys all gave me such words of encouragement about my mom. And yeah, she's doing really good right now, so... We're just gonna hope it just continues, okay? But that's the reason why I have to do this whole, um, actually, let me go ahead and close this and get going with the We Are The Stars. All right, so I have my binder here. This is my We Are The Stars challenge. And that's the reason why I need to really fix up my buffer, replenish some money there, as well as um, put some money back into my cash envelopes. If you guys don't know, I was super excited last video. I'll link it up here. When I remember that I had a category called Life Happens. How did I forget? I Vicky from Vita with Vicky is the one that came up with the idea that I saw first. I don't know if she's the inventor of that envelope, but she, I saw hers and I was like, you know what? I need a life happens. Not even thinking life would really life me like that. Once my mom got sick and in the hospital, I just started like picking up coffees, going out to eat, picking the kids up fast food. I didn't have time to cook because I would get in from the hospital so late at night. Sometimes I even had pizza delivered. You guys are going to see all those transactions in a minute. So that's why this whole video is even here. Okay. But for right now, we need to save $42. And the winner is Julie Frank. Was it NC? I think it was F-R-A-N-C. All right, Julie, what I need you to do is reach out to me over on Instagram, send me a DM, and I can get your $10 gift card to you. And congratulations to all the past winners. So far, we have I Desire Wealth. That is a YouTube channel. Her name is Desiree. You guys should check her out. As well as SSAP4, Gina Smith, Rose Budget Life. That's also a YouTube channel. She's really good. Uh, Letty's Budget Life. You guys should check her out. Miss Montavious. Hey, girl. Um, Karen Kendall. Tina Carey. 
Anisha Richardson and Julie Frank. So far, I have not heard from Karen Kendall or Anisha Richardson. You guys also reach out to me on Instagram so I can get your $10 gift card over, okay? All right, we're gonna put this away, but we will be stuffing the $42 later in the video. Let's go ahead and get started with figuring out how much needs to go back. I'm gonna sit this binder over here to the side because I might need to make change with that later. First things first, I'm gonna be using the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner for budgeting with sinking funds and cash envelopes. There is a link um, down below to my Amazon storefront and it has a direct link to any of the planners that I've created. Thank you guys so much for all that have still continued to purchase. Um, I will put a comparison video up here that compares all the different planners that I've created as well as some savings challenge books. And if you're interested in any of them, click the link down below. It'll take you straight to Amazon and you can purchase, okay? They're very affordable. All of them are pretty much under $15. I think most of them are under 11. So yeah, that's really cool. All right, so we're gonna be using that today and I'm thinking I'm gonna use the expense tracker page. So let me get to that. Now you guys, I'm not big on expense tracking. I'm gonna be honest with you. I usually like to just have the cash and spend the cash as I need to. And then I don't have to really track what I'm doing, right? Cause that's giving me like checkbook register vibes. But I know a lot of people like to... <laughs> I know a lot of people like to do it, but it's taking back, me back to the days of checkbook register. I ain't got time. So, um, but today I am going to use this expense tracker and I put it in here, not understanding how many little lines are needed. So that's an upgrade that I might be releasing in a new release of a planner of mine to add more little tiny small lines so that people can track. Because now that I see when people are expense tracking, they'll be having like a whole list of transactions. I'm like, whoa, okay. For today, what I'm going to do is go ahead and list out everything that I spent between um, the week that my mom was in the hospital, okay? Just that week. So I need to use my phone so I can log into my bank. And I think I might speed up this part because even though I'm writing it all out, we're going to come back and talk about it, all right? Okay, you guys, so this is all the categories of everything that I spent on my debit card in that week. Now, there were more purchases that were made. However, sometimes I did just use the cash that was in the envelope in order to buy food for people or even myself. And so we know for sure all of these transactions need to be going back to my buffer, okay? But then I also owe some money back to each, some of the categories, not every single one of them that are in my cash envelopes. So first, let's add up how much needs to go back to my buffer. So in the beginning, when she first was um, sent to the hospital, the next morning I bought Starbucks for me and my brother, and that was $15. Um, and we had breakfast and coffees for the two of us. American Deli was for my kids, and they had $27.95. The next morning I bought Starbucks again, and these flat $15 I loaded onto my Starbucks um, app. Instead of paying for the food, I added on so I can get double the points to get free things. This China One Chinese food was for me, and that was $12.88. My kids, I ordered them Domino's Pizza and had it delivered to the house, and that's why it was so expensive at $34.48. McDonald's food I got for my brother, I believe, in the morning, um, which was $10.19. Some of this actually could come out of giving, but I'm going to take the majority of this money out of Life Happens, okay? Bagel Meister was for me, y'all, the bomb bagel sandwiches, okay? I was going over there and getting it at lunch because it was just right around the corner from the hospital. 
um, Texaco gas. I did not take it out of the gas envelope, clearly. So I owe that back and I'm just gonna, I don't even know if I had money in the gas envelope at that time and I spent it on something else or how it all went. So I'm just gonna recreate and put all this money back in, okay? Into the bank, into my buffer. So that's $27.95 I spent. QT, I got smart and I started going to get um, coffee for family from QT instead of picking up a Starbucks because <laughs> it was getting expensive. So I spent $10.79 and I think I got three coffees for that, which is crazy. Bagel Meister, again, that was my lunch at $14.02. All right, so that's a total of $181.83. So that money, let me total that up, $181. 83 so we'll probably just round that to a smooth 182 and that money will be going back into my buffer so that's going to be coming out of the life happens category so let me go ahead and start with that first so let's see this is my regular sinking funds and in here i have a category called life happens it's the lifesaver okay let me... <laughs> so i have 100 let me see one two three 20 40 60 85 yeah I have 385 and I'm just gonna take the 185 and put that back into the bank, okay? And this 200, I'm gonna leave out until we determine how much belongs back in the cash envelopes, okay? So we'll be working with that 385 total. Let me go ahead and close this up. So far we know out of my little cash envelopes for deposit, I have a couple of dollars in here. That's just some ones I have from a change recently. I'm gonna put the 100, 20, 40, 60, 85 into deposit because that definitely should be going in there, okay? So we know that to be true. And now the buffer has been taken care of. The next thing we need to work on, and these $2, I think I'll put that back in there too. I usually stick stuff into this deposit envelope and that's the money ones that I put into the savings challenge, but I do know 185 needs to actually go back to the bank, okay? So for the rest of these envelopes, I'm gonna need some change. I only have two $100 bills from the Life Happens category. Um, why didn't anybody tell me I left the scratcher out? <laughs> okay, wait, let me put the scratcher back in Life Happens. Okay, and then we'll determine at the end how much money we still have in here. And I'll need to get up on re up in this category because y'all, life do be happening. All right, you guys. So I only have $200 left and it's two $100 bills. So I think I'm going to need some change. But let's go ahead and break down what it is I want to put back into my cash envelopes because I know I was spending out of there. Were they category appropriate? We'll never know. <laughs> we, will, we will never know. I literally was just grabbing for cash. Groceries, I'm not gonna restuff anything into here because I still have the 150 from groceries from this last week's budget. As well, um, I have a grocery sinking fund. So if I need some extra money, I can pull it from there. So there's no need to restuff that. Dining out, I know that I pulled money out of here. I'm gonna say about $40 is what I wanna put into dining out. So let's go ahead and write that down. And I'm just gonna put it over here so I can remember what I'm doing. And then gas, I have 50 in here. I would like to put another 30 in. So um, my gas tank takes about $30. If you saw in the transaction, $27.95. I'm gonna put 30 because I know I had extra in this category that I was holding just in case we needed to go somewhere far. So I'm gonna put that 30 back from Life Happens. Fun, I don't think we need anything. We didn't have anything in there before. For myself, I didn't have anything in there and that's the money in there left for my nails and pedicure, which I'll be getting soon. Date night is the main deal. I know I had $80 in date night and that needs to go back in there, even though my guy doesn't let me pay. But if ever he does, um, I need my $80 in there so we can go to a nice steak dinner and not feel bad about it, okay? Well, maybe not a nice steak dinner because that costs more than $80, but you know, so we can go to dinner and have us a nice date night. And then deposit is what I'm putting back in the bank and there's nothing for coins. So I really just need to put this money here, which is gonna be 80 plus 30 plus 40. So that's $150 hmm. and I need some change. So let me see if I can find some change in my savings challenge binder. That's why I left it here on the table for the hundred. We are the stars. We already know that has it. Oh, and I'm supposed to be stuffing. Oh my goodness, I forgot. I need to put another $42 into we are the stars. So we pretty much are about to use all this money um, because I would be taking we are the stars out of my buffer. I might as well just take it out of life happens for this time. Let's see, 40, 30, 80, and 42. Okay, so 192 is what I need. So let's see, 51. Okay, let me do this. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 
20 times 2, 20 times 1, 10 times 1, 20 times 4, 20 times 2, 1 times 2. All right, so I'm going to look for all of this, and I'll use those ones that I had in the, like, going towards the penny challenge to go towards We Are the Stars. So let's see, I need 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 9 20s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80. yeah, that's 9. Okay, let's see how much this is. Oh no, I think this isn't gonna work because I need a 50. 20, 40. All right, let's see if this is right. Just for change of breaking the $200 bills that I have here, I'm gonna take that out of the We Are The Stars. So let's see, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Did I mess it up? Wait, let's see. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Oh yeah, that's definitely wrong. Okay, so let's get another $10 bill out of here. Hold on, I'm just making change right now. All right, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. All right, so that's the 200 that belongs in We Are The Stars. So let me just get this together. We should have had 230s, 330 something. Wait. 1, 2, 53, 320, 30, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 36. Yeah. Okay, that's right. So We Are The Stars is all set up with change, and I've ended up doing a bill swap for that. All right, so now that we know, let's go ahead and do a little mini cash stuffing of our cash wallet. Groceries isn't getting anything. Dining out is going to be getting $40. And... There's 20, 40, 60, because I already had 20 in there. Gas is going to be getting $30. We'll do a 20 and two fives. And gas already has a $50 bill in there. So we'll now have 50, 70, 75, $80 which is quite a bit for my little car, but I'm gonna be rolling over any extra that I have week to week, okay? Fun has the 25 that it already had. Mine has the 80 that it already had. Date night is what needs to get $80. That's 50, 70, 75, 80. And then, you know what? I was gonna take the We Are The Stars out of Life Happens, but I think I'm gonna put this 50 back into Life Happens, okay? And the 42, I'm gonna get directly out of the buffer because that's what I would have done anyway. So let's see, there's one and two. I already had those ones ready to go towards the penny challenge, but we'll put it towards the We Are The Stars and 2040. I hope I didn't confuse you guys. So in deposit, I'll be taking back 1, 20, 40, 145. Instead of 185, I'll take 145. Back to the buffer. Because if I was doing We Are The Stars in the middle of the week, like how I am now between cash stuffings, I would have pulled this money for the We Are The Stars out of my buffer. So that's where that's coming from. That money just would have been in the bank and I would have pulled it from there. So that's gonna be $42 to go to We Are The Stars. We'll put that in in a minute. And this $50 is gonna go back into Life Happens just in case we need to get it going again. Let me get the binder. All right, I'm gonna update the tracker. So in all, we took out $335 and we have 50 left. So yeah, I'm gonna have to work on this one. It's so quick. It's You're so quick to like spend money, buy people things. And some of that really could have came out of giving, but I'm just not sure how much of it I was buying for others versus how much I was spending for my kids and myself. You know, like some days I would go buy cash, use cash and buy lunch for me, my brother, my sister, and other days they would buy something for me. And then my kids, sometimes I would pick up food on the way home, but I just used cash. Like I know for sure we went to Chick-fil-A and that's not listed here and picked up some food the day that they went to the hospital to see my mom. We've stopped and got food on the way home. I don't know if the whole 150 was spent on us, what I have listed, but I do know between buying stuff for my sister and my brother, as well as myself and my kids, the money's not here. 
and I want to put it back. So <laughs> I hope that all makes sense. All right, $42 we got to put into We Are The Stars. Here's that binder. And you know, what would I have done had I not had the Life Happens category? I would have found this money and figured out a way to get it back in there. You know what I mean? If I had to take some out of, you know, a paycheck that I got and extra bonus money, instead of putting into savings challenges, I would have replenished what was needed. So, I mean, it kind of all works out. It just works out even better now that I have that Life Happens envelope. Okay, so I put the $42 in for the We Are The Stars, and now we have 1, 2, 53, 3, 20, 40, 60, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 378. Y'all, we only got two more stars for We Are The Stars Challenge. You think it'll be enough in here for me to get me a washing machine? Because I think the penny challenge can suffice with a dryer and a refrigerator. But this, this might be the washing machine, y'all. Okay, all of my little cash envelopes are now replenished and looking real healthy like they were prior to my emergency. If you guys are interested in these, any of these little mini A7 envelopes, they are for sale down in my Etsy store. The link is listed down below. And yeah, you would just designate what character you want and what you want the words to say. And I'm thinking about releasing some A6 envelopes with the same kind of characters on them as well. There's more characters to choose from. You'll just have to hit my Etsy store so you can see all the options that are available. And that is it. Ah, uh, we back to normal, y'all. You know, life happens and it is such a blessing to be able to have some saved up to accommodate for it. And you guys, even if you forget about it, when you finally remember, it's a blessing, okay? <laughs> so be grateful. I'm totally grateful that I had that extra cash that I can divvy up. And now I just need to work on building back up Life Happens for a future. All right, we did all the things. We stuffed this cash envelopes. We did the um, replenishment of the buffer. And so I appreciate you for being here. If you're a real one, you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and put this one single emoji right here. And that way I'll know you made it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you'll be notified when I put out a new video. Don't forget to comment on this video so you have a chance of winning the $10 gift card from the We Are The Stars giveaway that'll be going on in my next video. Also, share this video with someone if you think they need the inspiration or just information about how to divvy up and stuff your cash envelopes. Also, like the video because it helps it to be suggested to others who might need this information. All right, you guys, I will see you very shortly. I appreciate you guys for being here. Take care.